The event is titled as Sound Imagining. It's a four weeks workshop program with 25 Greenhead College students. We're going to create imaginary soundscape of Huddersfield using geolocative app, which is called Sonic Maps. Sonic Maps is a tool we're using for sound imagining. It is an application developed by a PhD student, Ignacio Pacino, from Manchester University. And this app allows you to locate audio files into real locations using GPS. So audience can walk around the town using this tool and listen to the sound created by the student. The idea with the project specifically is that the students are engaging with geolocative audio. Now geolocative audio is um, a situation where you put sound in specific locations and the sound is triggered by your phone entering into those locations. So what this means is it creates a site-specific inspiration for composition. So the students, when they go to those locations, have to think about sound and environment and narrative and imagine other compositional ideas, uh, maybe a personal cinematic experience and soundscapes that might be put into those locations. Greenhead College students learn what soundscape competition is. Listening is the most essential practice they need to learn before they actually start competition. So I operated sound work, and sound work is a listening practice to listen to a sonic environment of a real location. So students from Greenhead College and I went to three locations I chose, which are the train station, marketplace, including bar market, and parish churchyard. They've gone to these locations and they've really listened to the environment, they engaged in a kind of deep listening. And they don't always fully understand immediately what they've got to do, but I think it's really stimulated a different sort of sound composition experience for the students. It's been really interesting for the students to work away from the Music Technology A-level curriculum because the A-level curriculum is quite centred around MIDI and, and composition using MIDI and, and sequencing. Um, the opportunity to think about sound and maybe think a bit outside their comfort zone of like what can we do with sound, what, how can we manipulate sound, how can we edit sound in order to turn it into a composition, I think has been really interesting and has really challenged the students. I've been working on this soundscape project for about four weeks now and our task is basically to create a soundscape that represents the place that we've been given which uh, in my case is Byram Arcade in Huddersfield Town Centre. As it's quite an old building, uh, it's got a lot of character and so we thought we could use that character to inspire us to make a different sound than what other groups were doing. We spent about two hours going around trying to make sounds with the building. We used the old lift and uh, footsteps on the floor because it's a very echoey building. The location we've been doing is in Wood Street near Coffee Evolution. And obviously it's an area that comes to life more at night than it does during the day. There's a lot of like beer bottles, glasses, railings, that kind of thing. So there's lots of interesting things you can make the noises with that you wouldn't really think about normally day to day. The project's been really interesting because it's given our students the opportunity to work with undergraduate students at the university, see the university's facilities and work with students who are studying uh, music technology at university and think about what opportunities that might present for them in the future, as well as obviously working with Jogi who's studying music technology as a postgraduate. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've gotten out of it from a compositional point of view, but especially what the undergraduates have gotten out of this from a undergraduate perspective because they have to learn when to step in and creatively when to step back and how to mentor but also how to explain and communicate some quite difficult and complicated ideas to the students so I'm very excited to see what they create. I was quite reluctant to do it at the start. I didn't really know what it was about. I wasn't really interested in contemporary music. Uh, but then when I started, it kind of opened my eyes to different types of music. Um, 
when I listen to a piece of music, I never used to listen to each individual part, and I tend to do that now. I can kind of understand and listen to the different things inside it. The project itself has sort of broadened my horizons. It's made me think about what I want to do in the future, like uh, producing music and sound for films or video games, and it's just been a fun thing to do.